Chair, can I the gentleman from Spencer for explanation of the bill and a motion thereon. Mr. Speaker, would you have the clerk report House Committee Substitute 1? Clerk, please report. House Committee Substitute 1 to House Bill 288. Gentleman from Spencer. Mr. Speaker, House Committee Substitute 1 makes two small changes to the bill. Uh, there was a section in here that referred to indemnification. We changed that language to immunity. There was one section that had a 10-day uh, uh, reporting requirement. We changed that to 10 working days. Mr. Speaker, I move adoption of House Committee Substitute 1. Motion is for the adoption of House Committee Substitute 1. Is there any discussion of the committee substitute? <coughs> Seeing none, those in favor signify by voting aye. Aye. Those opposed nay. House Committee Substitute 1 is adopted. Gentleman from Spencer. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, members of the body. The purpose of House Bill 288 is to protect Kentucky students while respecting the due process rights of our teachers. Recently, you may have seen uh, an investigative report by the Lexington Herald Leader that undertook a review of teacher misconduct cases in Kentucky over a five year period from 2016 to 2021. And even before I read that report, I would often see news clips and headlines that caused me great concern. In this investigative report, cited numerous incidents of teacher misconduct all across the state, all regions of the state. There's no area where this is not taking place. Uh, it, they found that of the 194 teachers whose teaching license was voluntarily surrendered, suspended, or revoked by the Kentucky Educational Professional Standards Board in that period, 61% of those trace back to sexual misconduct. Overwhelmingly, these cases involve male teachers and teenage girls. Of the 118 teachers accused of sexual misconduct who were disciplined, 37% were never prosecuted. 31% had the charges dismissed, got probation, or served less than a year in jail. Four of those got more than 10 years, but in those cases, those charges were in federal court. This legislation strengthens existing law, provides stronger requirements for disclosing previous misconduct, and sets forth processes to ensure that school districts can properly vet candidates thoroughly and act decisively when serious violations have been investigated and confirmed. A public school, under this bill, a public school district or public charter school cannot enter into a non-disclosure agreement relating to dis misconduct involving a minor or student. Requires applicants for a district position to disclose that they have been the subject of allegations or investigations involving misconduct in the previous 12 months. Sets forth requirements for districts to investigate when an allegation against an employee is made and requires the district to complete the investigation. Also requires certified non-public schools to require criminal background checks of all new certified hires and student teachers. And it requires KDE and EPSB to develop a training for school district employees. Mr. Speaker, I would be happy to answer any questions the members have, but at this time I move for the adoption of House Bill 288 as amended by House Committee Substitute 1. 